Welcome to another installation of Flutter Embedded. I've updated the installation of all the tools you're going to need. And here's a quick equi equipment list for doing the essentials. I'll also put this in the description with links. So let's get started. There's about eight steps and we need to do them in order. The first thing we're going to do is uh, we'll install or verify get. So on the Raspberry Pi in terminal, you type in git dash dash version. And this is high enough to, to install, but I'm going to go ahead and show you if you want to get everything um, you know cleaned up and up to date. It's sudo app install git dash all. Now in the Raspberry Pi OS, they're only going to allow, allow you to go so high. Um, it's, this is going to update, but it's still going to be the same version. Um, I'm not quite sure why, but it's high enough for what we need to do. It's going to take a little longer than this. I'm going to bounce out and come back in when it's finished. So let's clear, and then you'll, I'll do version, but it'll be the same version. Uh, it just updated some files. But it's good to go. Okay, uh, the next step is we're going to install Snap and Snap Core. This is what you need to install uh, Flutter. Okay, so let's clear the terminal. sudo app install snapd. It takes a while. And again, I'm not going to make you watch paint dry. Um, we'll come back in when it's when it's finished up. There we go. Now we're going to clear the next piece we got to install if I can spell sudo not apt. It'll be sudo snap install core. Okay, we've got that installed. Now we can install Flutter. Flutter and Dart are all coming in at the same time. Let's go back to the terminal. Clear it. sudo snap install Flutter dash dash classic. Now this is going to take a long time, so I'm not going to bore you. We'll come back in when it's finished up. Now, you need to reboot because of the path. So once you reboot, we'll go into the terminal. Okay, so now we're going to run flutter space dash dash version because it's not done installing. There's a lot more that it's going to do. So let's go ahead and get into the terminal. Flutter dash dash version. And it's it's going to take a while. Um, I'm not going to make you watch this. We'll come back in when it's wrapping up. Okay, it's got that piece. That probably took about five minutes on my side. So we're going to do flutter space doctor space dash V. So let's clear the terminal. flutter doctor dash v and it's going to start installing and downloading and i have no idea where all this gibberish is coming from but it's running flutter doctor the three issues have nothing to do with us okay so we've got flutter and dart installed now let's go ahead and install vs code go back to the terminal let's clear it And if I could spell, that's not right. sudo super user app install code. And again, this takes quite a while. We'll let it, on my side, it looks like it's going really fast, but 
Um, I think this took also about four or five minutes to be done, done. To show any couple of screens. Um, when you're doing this, you may just want to go and get a sandwich and come back. Okay, now I opened up VS Code. And on the Raspberry Pi, um, even with it overclocked a bit, it's still a little bit sluggish in the beginning because it's still indexing and initializing. So we're going to go to runtime up there in the window there, and we're going to disable hardware acceleration. This is something they suggest you do on the Pi. Um, it makes a little bit of difference on speed, but I'm overclocked uh, just a little bit in... You got to be careful on overclocking because uh, with this to be in, it, it wants to crash a lot. So start it up again after you do that change. Now we've got VS Code installed. Now we're going to set up the Flutter and Dart extension. Now Flutter and Dart, I'm, they're almost synon synonymous. So when you install the Flutter extension, you're going to get Dart. Don't do them separately always it do flutter because it the way it's set up now it's it's always installing dart so you go to the extensions you find flutter this one here take a good look at it it's at 3.86 at this uh, install this takes a long time so I'm coming in after it's installed we're not done yet <laughs> When we create a project, it's still going to do some more downloading and indexing, and you're going to see that here. So we're going to go back into VS Code, and let's go there to the View Command Palette. And if you don't see Flutter, type in Flutter. You'll see Flutter New Project Application. It'll bring up your files. Pick what folder you want to use. Go all the way down to the bottom right, select the folder to create the project in, pick a name. I'm just using the default name. Hit enter. And the first time it does this, it's going to do a lot. It's going to ask you, do you trust it? You can click the trust box. Yes, I trust it. I'm the author. Why wouldn't I trust it? Um, get rid of the welcome screen. And now it's running to it's running Doctor uh, Flutter Doctor, it's indexing. So don't don't get impatient with it. It's going to take a while. It it's the first time for all this stuff. After this, it, it's much faster. Okay. Would you? Yes. Let's go ahead and accept that. Click that, get rid of that. Now, I'm going to show you a trick that I do. You don't need to do this. You can just press F5. But if, if you get into using Flutter a lot, this is very handy. Create, don't hit Add Configuration. But you don't need that. You put a comma after that right there. Put a comma and then type F. Flutter mode. Just click on that. Debug. And then go up there and you can put in parentheses this is just for you to see debug mode now what this uh, in a second you're going to see why this is pretty cool uh, in way vs code does it um i would normally do Control s but i'm going to just go up here and do file save so you, you got a file save to get the stuff to to go in um make this window a little bit bigger Okay, and then get rid of this launch JSON. Now you see the little bug with the triangle to the far left. I'm bringing up the uh, the navigator right there. That's your debug. So when you click on that, you can pull down the window. And later, when you're doing different kind of debugging, right now we're just doing debug. Click on the green go, and now open up the debug output and this also is going to take a while because it's the first time that it's launched a, a, a project. One thing I missed was it's going to ask you to pick a device and if you look at the lower right it says Linux 
um, it'll a box will pop up in the middle of the screen at the top and you only have one choice Linux device it's downloading stuff it's installing stuff it's indexing but there there you have it a simple little program so it's working so I wanted to do an update on this and please subscribe and smash that like button and there's going to be a lot more videos coming on Flutter Embedded. Thank you.